Yes, from the summer cup. 1800 meters to race. Gates open. And they're racing away and racing to a fair start. Chimes broke out well. He got a clean break. Seville Orange is approaching to race up into second. Third place belongs to Tilbury Fort, sharing position with Divine Odyssey. None of them really want to let go here. Al Mutawakul is racing close to the pace. Only two lanes off the leader. Sunshine Silk, American Indian, Ali Bon Dubai. But the eight horses are covered by no more than four lanes. With 1,400 metres left to go. And Seville Orange is the one in front. And got the call by around a length. Chimes conceded the lead. And races in second. Then comes Al Mutawakul. The speed is now a bit more genuine at the corner of the track, Tilbury Fort and Divine Odyssey got to know each other quite well down the back straight just over a length away to Ali Bon Dubai Sunshine Silk has won from last an American Indian dropped out to the back of the field but still not much between first to last I'd say six lengths down the side of the course and they climb the hill, 1,000 metres left to go, Seville Orange is dangerous from the front, the one length leader Al Mutawaka with blinkers on today is right there in second, Chimes is now third but well enough positioned, Divine Odyssey just ahead of Tilbury Fort but they've been together from the start, Ali Bon Dubai with two behind, Sunshine Silk with a light weight as one from last. An American Indian is watching just over 600 metres left to go. Seville Orange is the leader. She still maintains this one length advantage. Second place is Al Mutawakal. Back in third is Chimes. And Chimes just getting scrubbed along the red sleeves and cap. Tilbury fought Divine Odyssey. They together. Divine Odyssey makes his run up the centre of the track and launching at a good time. Ali Bon Dubai, Sunshine Silk, American Indian. Now as they reach the final 400 metres, Al Mutawakal, Chimes, they move up together. Divine Odyssey is at the outside. Seville Orange has dropped into fourth. Tilbury fought was next. Chimes, Divine Odyssey, Al Mutawakal is in the middle. Chimes got the lead, Al Mutawakul's half a length away and Devan Odyssey is finishing nearest us, it's Charms, Devan Odyssey it is not going to get there, Charms beat Devan Odyssey, third goes to Al Mutawakul and then came Sunshine Silk Strike had to get a bit busy on Charms around the turn but Charms has responded the son of Atto, Gary Alexander's won three in a row here a man in red hot form, this time Pierre Strait and picked up the chance ride and Dennis Schwarz, well, good things happen to good people, so uh, Dennis will be back, and I'm sure his rewards will come his way in due course. Well done to Mr. and Mrs. Alcock and Ronnie and Bev Napier, the winning owners here, bred by the Summerhill Stud, and Chimes takes his career earnings past 700,000 rand. A gutsy win here. Second goes to number three, Divine Odyssey. Third to number two, Al Mutawakal. And fourth will go to Sunshine Silk. Then came Tilbury Fort, Seville Orange, American Indian, Ali Bon Dubai. 1, 3, 2 and 8 was the order of finish to race 4, the start of the pick 6 and chimes towards the extreme left hand side. Broke out well but was happy to let a few go past. I don't think this was run in record time but chimes went straight and started to niggle him along. He responded all the way down the lane. Devan Odyssey seemed to just run in snatches. Al Mutawakal hit his customary late, uh, um, flat spot with about 400 metres left to go but it will be chimes who was number 5 time winner from 16 starts. He's very well performed. All right, first leg of today's pick six in a very healthy pool. The last time I saw, just over 1.3 million rand invested over there. So well done to the punters. Well done to Pierre Stratum. Well done to Gary Alexander. Of course, are the owners involved. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Ulcock, Mr. and Mrs. Napier. Great to have uh, the connections on course. And uh, Striker, I must say, I know that I always sing your praises. An absolute privilege from my part so to watch a man of your caliber ride. But that was uh, a very good ride. The top of the lane, you didn't want to get caught flat-footed. And uh, super stuff. Well done. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, he's a very easy horse to ride. Uh, he flew the gates, so I got a beautiful position. Uh, there was a horse in front of me that's a, a, like sort of a bit of a one pacer, but the, the pace wasn't that hard. So top of the straight, I thought in this inside track, you know, you can't sit and wait. He got such a long striding horse. Um, tried to get him going, and uh, exactly what he did. So obviously happy that he kicked and, and stayed at the end. Well done to Gary and Dina. Thank you for the ride, picking, picking up the ride, uh, Mr. And Mr. Napier, and also like sorry to. Dennis, you know, I mean, it's just how life works. So many times you've got hurt and you're not able to, to ride the horses and they come and win. So I feel sorry for him. Well, Swaka, we obviously know that um, Al Mutawakal, he can be a difficult horse to get past when he lengthens. So top of the lane, um, you didn't want to get caught flat-footed and uh, it was almost like a light switch because uh, once he hooked her down that inside running rail, he turned it on beautifully. Yeah, I was ready. Uh, I couldn't wait for the false rail. So I was on the fence. Obviously, I, I had no option but to wait for the false rail. I couldn't make an earlier move. So I was ready for that false rail and, and obviously when, when, the, when it appeared I just, you know, sent him and uh, as I said, I'll, uh, I'm happy the way quick enough, the horse must still be good enough. 
And uh, what sort of field does he give you? I know you've ridden some top sorts uh, in, your, in your time, but uh, he's beaten a half-decent field today. Yes, uh, look, he wasn't even handicapped to win, so uh, obviously it was a, it was a good win, uh, competitive field there. You're, you're a man of form. Later on, a horse like our man in Havana, obviously been bumped up in the ratings, but he must have some sort of a squeak. Yeah, he's, he got quite a penalty, so obviously it's going to be tough for him. But in saying that, he's a... Uh, uh, in the beginning, it was a very immature horse who duck around all, all over the place. And now with the blinkers on, he's, um, his mind's on, the, on, on running. And apparently, he's, he's improved in his work. So he can easily improve and, and beat, beat the same horses again. And yourself, Striker, you in uh, good fiddle. I know you took a little break away a few weeks back, but uh, you're happy, healthy? Yeah, I, I broke my finger. So I was forced to, uh, to go on holiday. And um, obviously, it, uh, it takes time to get going again because the rides that you were riding before and you built up, uh, they've, if they've come and run well, you, you lose those rides. So now it's about a building process again and uh, I'm hoping uh, one day uh, in the near future when I um, stop riding that uh, I can have a good period now for, for a while. Well, hopefully that's not any time soon because uh, you'll be very well missed uh, to the riding rank striker. Your calibre is certainly something that we're blessed to see, so well done. Thank you for the kind words. Lovely. Yeah. Well done, Stryker. Well done, Mr. Alexander. That's three this afternoon, and uh, I'm sure you guys were on the phone straight away when uh, Dennis couldn't get the ride, because uh, to have Piers Stratum is always a big plus. Well, Piers the master, and he gave this horse a beautiful ride, but he's a beautiful horse to train, and he's only starting to mature now, and I've got to be thankful for uh, John Mark Alcock and his wife, and of course Mr. and Mrs. Napier, just fantastic people to train for. So Alexander, he still looks uh, like he's uh, a little bit of a baby because uh, watching him go out of the ring full of beans, it could also be a signs of well-being, but uh, the penny still probably hasn't quite dropped yet. No, it hasn't really, and uh, I think we'll definitely campaign him in Durban for one of the big ones. Uh, I think he's en route for that, the way he's going and the way he's prepping. And of course, lovely owners to have involved. I know they've uh, been long stalwarts in the game and supported the Alexander team in a big way. Uh, very much so, and a uh, big thank you to Samuel Stad, Mickey Goss, Great work. Well done, Mr. Alexander. Three for you this afternoon. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Lovely. Well done. Mr. and Mrs. Napier, of course, sir, to the old cocks involved as well. Please step in, sir. An absolute privilege to have you down at uh, the Turfentine Racecourse as always. And uh, you look the part. I know that uh, you always do. <laughs> and uh, he looks to be a lovely horse. He is really. You know, he has been right from the beginning. And he's taken a bit of a while to really mature. But as I think Pierre said, he's now a nice horse, a really nice horse. And, and we really want to say thank you to our, our partners, the old cocks. And to Summerhill Stud, of course, because uh, they've, and also they looked after him over the, uh, uh, the le early spring last year when he got a, a little, he needed a break, and, uh, and they got him back to where he is now. So Summerhill did a great job, and well done to the Ulcox. I'm sure they'll be on the phone in a few minutes. Mrs. Napier, I want to get a word from you. Obviously, uh, you always look scintillating, ma'am, and um, lovely to have you out here this afternoon. Uh, as you heard, Durban trip uh, maybe on the card, so get those tickets booked. Hopefully, hopefully. And uh, you've had a few nice ones along the way, haven't you? Yes, we have. We've been very lucky. Well done, Mrs. Napier. Lovely Thank to have you. you at the track. Well done, Mr. Napier. Thanks, thanks, uh, absolute gentleman, and uh, lovely to have you guys at the course as so always. Much. Okay. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank well you. Done. Well done. Super stuff. Well done. Great to have the Napiers on course. I know that uh, uh, they've been in the game a long, long time, and uh, they look the part as always. Uh, certainly uh, looks scintillating. Well done to Pierre Stratum. Well done, Gary Alexander, to Mr. and Mrs. Ulcock involved in partnership over here to the Alexander brothers. That's three this afternoon.